feel like I can see their love seeping through my computer screen and glaring at me. Hi friends, welcome to another one of my Drama Uni fanfiction recommendations and today we are going to do a trope video because a couple weeks ago I think a viewer has left a comment saying that you guys would like to see more of the tropes and at the same time I feel like I've already talked to you about all of my all-time favorites of my top top tier story already so let's venture out into something a little bit different today and that is why we are talking Dramione Marriage Law trope why do I want to start with Marriage Law? because it's my favorite trope I feel like Marriage Law story highlight the relationship development between Draco and Hermione really well and I also love to see that they overcome their prejudice and work toward a common goal and in this case it's their marriage, their life so let's talk about my favorite Dramione Marriage Law story because this is going to be a trope video I feel like the plot line of the story that I mentioned here today will be somewhat similar to each other so I will break up the story into lengthwise recommendations so that it's easier for you to pick and choose your next read but I want to start with the PWP I have two PWP stories to keep things a little bit spicy a little bit citrusy today so let's start the first one I want to talk to you about is a very special story and that is Tie That Bites by Tattoo and High Heel Shoes This is a story that dive deep more into the development of the marriage law So typically you will see marriage law stories start out with a letter from the Department of Magic saying Hey this is your match and this is the percentage But there is no explanation as to why that percentage has come into place But in this story we get to see that part of the development so in this story, after they get the match, they have to submit their memories uh, and swap it so that the other person can pinpoint uh, why this person has been chosen as my soulmate. So we get to go back to the past and see glimpses of their affection for each other. So I love it because they are matched not only on their magical compatibility, but also on their deep deep down feeling for each other as well. Usually I don't do PWP very well, but I feel like despite this story being a PWP, it feels super tender, super soft, and I can probably call this as a healing story as well so I feel like this is a must read and a classic when it comes to Dramione Marriage Law next we have a true PWP in this story we have no plot just P and that is Pretty Please by We Star Maggie in this story uh, they are not matched by the Department of Magic but Draco has offered a proposition to Hermione because they have history and I feel like this is a story packed with all the PWP details that I personally would like to read we have the DS underline, we have the possessive Draco so if you would like to read a story that is entirely spy and lemon I think this is going to be perfect Despite this being a RP no plot story, which is usually not my cup of tea, I find myself to really enjoy this story for some reason. I feel it does something to my heart and I don't really know why. Now that we already stuck up on our lemons and our spices, let's start with the one shot. The first one shot you all know about, The Intricacy of Marriage by Croissant. This is a marriage law story where they're trying to kill off each other to get out of the law. So they wake up every day and plot the murder of the other person. This is a super short story, only about 4,000 words long, but it is packed with humor, with fluff, with angst, everything that you need. To me, this is a perfect marriage law story and probably a classic and a must read for everyone that enjoys this trope. Next, we have Accidental Marriage by Margarita Ma and this is a story that I love with all my heart. This is a very fun and very unique marriage law story with three things that make it super special. First, we have a resisting Draco. Usually you will find that in marriage law story, he is the one who is more accepting of the law because he has always resigned to the idea that he will have an arranged marriage later on in his life. But in this story, he resisted. Second, we have a very supportive Lucius and Sissa Malfoy and I personally really like the characterization of them in Dramione's story being supportive And third, because I am a whore for their moments and interaction, this is a galore for me I thoroughly enjoy their conversation, the moment between them and their confession at the end of the story It just melts my heart, this is a many times reread for me And now that I talk to you about it, I feel like I want to read it one more time Next, we have All's Well That Ends Well To End Up With You by Another Lonely Writer and I have mentioned one of their stories before in my top tier one shots video that is Redamancy and now this is another one of their story that I love with all of my heart this is another story that's written in the snippet format that I love so much it goes back into their earlier years and hard work and now that the um, match law has come into place Draco comes to Hermione with a proposition because of all that's happened between them but he still thinks that he is not worthy of her and she deserves way way more than him so I saw a tweet that say Draco is the most arrogant man on earth that have no self-worth and I think this story has sum up that tweet next we have a very very sweet story that melts my heart and that is Fairy Light by Grace Diamond Fear 
This is a story where they are picked as the poster couple for the marriage law because of their representation. So if you want to read something that have both very mature and understanding characters, I feel like this is perfect for you. I love the description and the portrait of Hermione in this. She enjoyed life with Draco, she didn't resist it. And I love the portrait of Grace, um, of Hermione in here. Uh, on the other hand, we have a very observant Draco who doesn't say anything, he does everything. I feel like the journey of them falling in love in this story is super realistic, but it's super soft, it's super tender, super caring, super loving. This is one of the stories that just make me feel so happy after reading it, so I would recommend it many, many times. Next, we have a story that haunts me for days after I read it, and that is Trap of Living Dead by Mallory. My personal rule is that I don't read sad ending story, but I don't know why I went up reading this story, and now I cannot forget it. In this story, I love the portrait of a very vulnerable Draco and I love the details of him living with her until the very end. It's one of the stories that just keep making me hopeful for something that's never come. This is a very unique take on Mary's Law and a very well-written story. It is very well recommended and well loved under the angst category when it comes to Dramione. So if you would like to read something that broke your heart into pieces, I would recommend Drive of Living Yet over any other story. Next, we have a story that I didn't expect to love, but for some reason, I love it so much, and that is He Doesn't Love Me by I Am Past One. In this story, we get to see Hermione's point of view throughout the events of the marriage law and the marriage life with the Malfoys after that. I don't know why such a simple and short read can make my heart feel so smooth, and I feel like I can see their love seeping through my computer screen and glaring at me. I love this story so much, even though I feel like the characterization of Hermione may be a little bit out of character for some of you, but I just feel like they love each other so much in this story and we can see it through just simple words. Uh, but there is a little bit of warning for you guys in this story. Um, I think it is an older story post on the adult Harry Potter fanfiction website. So there is a little bit of a format error. And I don't know if it would be a deal breaker for any one of you. But I would love to bring that up because I recommend it to you guys. And I would love for you to read it. But there is that format error that may prevent some of you guys from enjoying this story. Next, let's do multi-chapter story and the first one is I Carry Your Heart by The Morning Madam. This is a longer story where we follow them throughout the whole event of the marriage law. So when they come into play, how they develop their relationship, how they come to live with each other, how they come to fall in love. And in this story, we have a non-supportive Lucius and Narcissa. So we get to see a lot of protective moments from Draco when it comes to Hermione. If you are like me and you enjoy K-drama, I feel like this story is a very classic K-drama plot and I enjoy it thoroughly. This story has one of the lines that I love so much in all of Jamione's story, even though it's just simple and it reads one day you will learn that I am not the enemy. So I love the characterization of Draco in this. I love how protective and caring he is toward Hermione, but I also love the characterization of Hermione and the other characters. I feel like it's super realistic given the situation. So if you would like to read something well written, well developed with a lot of supporting characters and um, a lot of drama going on in the marriage law trope, then I feel like this story is perfect for you. Next, we have a multi-chapter story on marriage law, but with a very interesting take, and that is Law and Love by NJ Coffee Queen. The story is set sometimes after the marriage law has come into place so everyone has already got their match got their family got their kids even and now um, that the population has been ensured uh, they want to allow the couple to separate from each other if they no longer wish to stay together so Draco and Hermione have to reevaluate their marriage their relationship their whole life I guess when I read the synopsis of this story I thought that we would only stay in the present time and um, explore how they overcome their problems or how they overcome the evaluations of their relationship but instead I have a non-linear storyline that with a lot of flashback that plunge us into the past and give us a lot of the past development of their relationship and that is why I have really enjoyed this story. So if you would like to read a soft story, a non-linear timeline with just a little bit of angst then I think this is perfect for you. Next, I have three stories by the same author and that is Long Distance. The first one is Match and this I feel like is the number one recommendations when it comes to marriage law story. So in this story, we explore their relationship from the start of the marriage law and how they navigate through their situation. But we have a pining Draco. Everyone knows that he's in love with her except her. But personally, I didn't really enjoy it, even though I have enjoyed other long distance stories. I didn't have a good time when it comes to match, and I have nothing against the author or the story, it's just I personally didn't really feel it. Uh, but I didn't want my own opinion to take away a good recommendation from you guys. So if you would like to read, sorry in that kind of category then i think this is a perfect read because this is well written um, i only have two problems with this story the first one is 
the characterization of Hermione and second is the pacing of the story but I feel like because this is so well recommended and well loved you should give it a try if the story is something that you would like to read Next, we also have another story by Long Distance and that is What You Don't Say. So this is another one of those stories where they are not matched by the Department of Magic but Draco has come to Hermione with a proposition. In this case, it's more business-like because um, they have to consummate their marriage and have children. Draco wants to find the best genetics out there for his offspring so that is why he's come to Hermione. But the problem is, do they love each other secretly deep deep down? So we get to see how they navigate through that situation. Lastly, we have Hermione also by Long Distance. And this story kind of give me the same vibe with what you don't say. And I don't know if it's because it's written by the same author. So the writing style and the pacing and everything is kind of similar. But I for really enjoy this story. I think this is a more spicy story than the last. Uh, we also have two idiots in love, pining for each other, husband and wife. We also have a very supportive Narcissa Malfoy and I love the detail of her taking care of Hermione. I thoroughly enjoy these two stories by Long Distance and I feel like they're a good representation of Dremione in the marriage law trope. So I would give them both a try if you would like to read longer story. So that is the end of my marriage law story and personally those are the stories that I thoroughly enjoy and still remember even after months of reading it. So I hope that you also have a good time reading this story as well if you enjoy the marriage law trope and please consider subscribing down below if you haven't and check out my other videos too if you would like some more drama recommendations and I will see you in the next video